Hi everyone, I hope you are well. We are having a lovely day. We are going to have our energy card reading for today. I will ask you to take one second and decide if you are going to go with the energy of card number one or the energy of card number two or the energy of card number three. So you can decide to take a one, two, three energy, or you could take all the energies. Take what does resonate with you and leave out the rest. I'm just going to try to do that. It's getting stable. So we are going to start with card number one. So card number one is talking to you about a... A relationship that you are in you might feel that uh, there isn't enough love here you might feel like you are not being loved you are not being cared for you are not being taken care of your guys are saying that um, the problem is that you are not working on yourself you need to work on yourself relationships are not to give you comfort relationships are not there to nobody's gonna roll a red carpet for you um specifically if this is a committed relationship like where you are married or something like that that you know you, you can't just like pack and go those relationships are not very are not a a fun thing they they are for growth I normally say you know relationships are a retreat you get to learn and understand yourself better quicker actually in a, re in a relationship so your guys are saying you've been complaining that this is not what you signed up for the problem is not that this is not what you signed up for the problem is that you're not growing the problem is that you are not putting uh, effort in creating a new you you need to create a new you that this doesn't mean that this relationship is is gonna be there or not it just means that you're going to be in a better place and you are going to be loved when you love yourself spend time finding who you are spend time having patience with understanding yourself that relationship will be a blessing when you have taken care of yourself cut number two energy Okay, so card number two, your, any, your, your angels are talking about the fact that you have um, been ignoring something in your life. You have been trying to not look at it, not deal with it. The problem is that things that we try to ignore, they, they don't die. They actually grow. So it does get better or worse. But if nothing just stays at the same because you are ignoring it. So now you have to make a move. That is about fixing this thing that you are denying, this thing that you are delaying, this thing that you are trying to ignore. Um, you have to allow assistance from your guides. Your guides are saying, move, get it done, fix it. Um, you know, get out, whatever that you are trying to ignore. They are there to help you through this journey. So do not think that um, if you have to do this now, you have to do it all by yourself. No, they are there. That's why they're saying do it because they are there to help you. Um, you guys are saying a very clear, we know how to take care of you. We know how to take care of you. So... One of the things that they are saying here is that you must do a lot of breath work, a lot of breathing. Uh, if you need any like um, links on how to do breath work, you can send me an, a, an inbox uh, or comment on the thing on the comment section. I'll, 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 I'll link up a link. I'm not sure if I can do it on the comment section, but I, can, I know if you can inbox me, I can send you a link on how to do breath work. Very, very powerful meditation that helps you to um, get over fear lot of times okay that was card number two then um card number three by the way do put on the comment section which energy resonates with you one two or three then card number three you guys are saying that 
zizo color things are about you are about to get paid for so much stuff that has happened to you there's so much karma that is coming for people that have hurt you so a lot of times when we go through troubles and trials we don't go through those trials and trials because this god is just like not caring about us or doesn't okay what happens to us and he doesn't see that we are crying or something uh, it's because we need to learn the lesson but a lot of people make the mistake of blaming the situation and wanting the situation to end not learning from the situation because the thing is that when you learn from the situation quickly the, the suffering ends but those who have been sent which are good people by the way to give you the suffering they also because in life everything is balanced get the part of that so there's somebody who comes and hurts you they are doing it for their own benefit but they are teaching you a good lesson which is a good thing but it doesn't feel like it's a good thing to you at that time but when you learn the lesson when you then receive the lesson forgive this person their karma then starts for doing what they did to you so your guys are saying they are about to release some serious karma on things that have happened to you they are giving you strength to listen to them to be able to heal and let go of the things that you haven't learned about what happened the moment you learn what happened the moment you let go of what happened you are gonna allow that karma to run its course and you'll be shocked people will come back and beg for your forgiveness because they will know that you and they are paying for what they've done to you so um that is cut number three on that cut number three you could definitely join us for our fire cleansing ceremony that we're doing on the first of july starting at 5 p.m fire cleansing ceremony is a place is a good place to let go let go of past pains let go of unforgiveness let go of things that have hurt us to the point where people do not know how to heal so it's a very 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 good process a spiritual process to let go so we're starting with that at 5 p.m on the 1st of july and we are going to also on the same day night have an ayahuasca ceremony starting at 7 p.m until the morning at 6 a.m so ayahuasca ceremony it is a medicine a plant medicine psychedelic that helps you connect with your guides helps you connect with your higher self helps you connect with the real you and this is a good place for you to ask your guides for you know things that questions explanations and you get this whole entire night um to sit of course with um highly trained facilitators uh, I, I am a, a highly trained facilitator that um, gives ayahuasca I've been given the gift to be able to administer the medicine and um, you are in a safe space of course a very very safe space and you are able to go through a lot of things that you need to release so you can be able to join us on the 1st of July in, in St. a lot of people fly through from Cape Town and um, and, and Devon every month to come in and do this work with us so you are welcome to do that please make, just make sure that you have about five to three days to prepare for the ceremony to book there's a number on top here you can um, send a whatsapp and book your slot your 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 space it fills up very quickly the ayahuasca ceremony so make sure that you book in time and now um if you need to just talk to your guys about stuff that is happening in your life you need a personal card reading also send a whatsapp to that number my pa will book a slot for you i work between 4 and 9 a.m through zoom so if you like to have a talk about things in your life that you're not sure what's going on you're not sure what to do you're not sure how to get it moving um uh, book a session thank you so much have a lovely day